It's a scene of cramped filth outside this home on Fierro Street. The scraps left behind after over 50 dogs and one cat were removed from the property yesterday afternoon. Arlene Brown, the woman who owns the house, had been hoarding the animals from shelters for years, according to neighbors, claiming they'd be euthanized if she didn't save them. At first it was not bad at all, you know. And then it kept, all of a sudden she stopped bringing these dogs in and bringing the dogs in. Yeah. Gudrun Ritchie lives directly behind Arlene Brown's home. She says she pleaded with Brown to stop taking in animals, but to no avail. Richie and her husband avoided sitting out on their patio just because of the smell radiating from her neighbor's yard. I can't even describe the smell. It was kind of like, ooh, almost like a sickening. Other neighbors who would like to remain anonymous knew of Brown's hoarding, but were truly surprised at the extent of it. I couldn't figure that many dogs, I mean, in that small house. It's ridiculous. Miss Richie knew all along and even called animal control herself. You could hear them inside. Oh, my goodness gracious. We see cats going up and down the curtains. The animals have been taken to the already overwhelmed El Paso Animal Services, who are trying to find forever homes. Well, it's very difficult because we're at the high time of year. Our impoundments are up, and so space is a problem. Miss Ritchie says she believes Arlene Brown's heart was in the right place by opening up her home, but is glad that help finally came for the animals barely surviving inside. Anna Giles, ABC7.